Doug Price here from the Agave Social Club podcast. A uh, new episode just came out with Mari Carmen Ortiz Conway, who is a tequila expert. And she came on the show to talk about just some tequila facts, some tips, some things for anybody who is wanting to get into tequila that you should know about. And then she brought Dulce Amagura, which is a uh, extra añejo that she brought on the show for us to try. Beautiful bottle. So I wanted in the video, I wanted to make sure uh, you can see and look at this bottle. Hand, handmade all the way through. There's going to be some photos of how they're making it. Hand painted. Uh, it takes 13 hours. A lot of craft here. A lot of art going on. Every bottle is a little different as they are hand done. Uh, but this is Dulce Amagura's uh, Extra Añejo. A beautiful, beautiful bottle. This is coming out of uh, NOM 1466, which is Trace Mujeres. Uh, they have a couple different brands there. And uh, Alberto Partida is the master distiller here. And he's got a couple other brands as well. All beautiful bottles. Uh, tequila inside is, is delicious. It, it's sweet. A uh, little, little on the sweeter side. Uh, so not sure if that's natural or not. But it is a little sweet there. Uh, but it is still uh, very good to sip on. Uh, at the end of the night with some friends, uh, after dinner, dessert, but uh, very, very good to sip on. But this is the bottle for Dulce Amagura. Beautiful aromas, caramels, vanillas, oaky. It's aged five years, four or five years, I believe she said. So in a barrel for a very long time. Uh, that could be also where that sweetness, but it is sweet. And the agave is still there as well. Some of the things that she talked about on the show, uh, some of the benefits for tequila. Uh, again, the, the healthiest alcohol, as she said on the show, is no alcohol. But if you are going to be drinking anything, it has some pretty good benefits for you, opposed to some of the other spirits. Uh, some of the things that she talked about, always wanting to make sure that you're drinking tequila that is 100% agave. It is 100% agave. If not, it's a mixto. Again, the categories, you have your Blanco, your Reposado, your Añejo, and then your Extra Añejo. And then there's a fifth category, which is a gold. And like a Jose Cuervo gold, that is a mixto. That is, by law, it needs to be 51% agave and then 49% something else, other sugars. Most mixtos will mess you up the next day, uh, like a Jose Cuervo gold, not to call out any brands. But so you want to make sure 100% agave when you're looking at the bottles there. Uh, so we'd love for you to take a listen to the episode. It's on Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Google, uh, anywhere where you can listen to podcasts. She also talked about food pairings. So you can see, hey, what would I want to pair with my tequila as I'm making food and having pairings over? So really great episode. She was great to interview. Uh, she was super passionate and high energy. I uh, just loved her energy. Check out the Dulce Amagura episode on the Agave Social Club podcast. If you have any questions, let me know. Do you have any brands that you think should be on the show? Let me know if you are a brand and you want me to review your tequila. You can shoot me an email, theagavesocialclub at gmail.com. Instagram is agavesocialclub. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you enjoy the episode.